we're going to do the same thing. Just replace x and y's with what they represent. So this is 2r cosine of theta minus 3 times r sine of theta equals 5. You cool? See how I just replaced them? So you've got to remember the representation. Remember I spent like 20 minutes explaining why this works? That was hopefully so you would remember it um, and not have to feel like you had, or you would understand it so you didn't have to feel like you had to remember it. Well, now we have a problem. To solve for r, we have two r's, correct? If you guys remember in Algebra 1, when we had two of a variable that we're trying to solve for, the best thing was to try to combine, combine them. But these aren't like terms. That's cosine and that's. So we can't combine like terms. So another method we did was factor. You can factor out an r. Again, to make sure your factoring is correct, double check it with like multiplying. If I applied distributive property, would I get back my original answer? Yes. yes, so I factored it correctly. Then, to solve for r, I just need to divide by this on both sides. So r equals 5 divided by 2 cosine of theta minus 3 sine of theta. Capiche, caprende, 